What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough, right here on our Gym Leader Draven channel. Yes, it is me. It is me. It is DDP. No, no, I'm not Diamond Dallas Page, although I wish. But, I'm GLD, Gym Leader Draven. Okay, so, talk to this guy right here. This ship is, she is a luxury diner for the trainers. At every port, we hold parties with invited trainers. Okay, that's good. So, in our last episode, you've probably already seen the uh, preview. Yeah, we we went through a lot right here. Plus, we evolved two good Pokemon, and look at this. Just look at this. Our team is is finally forming into like a a, a monster of a team. I'm I'm, I'm excited. I'm real. I, I really am, guys. So excited. So enough about my team. Let's go ahead and just complete this whole task right here now. We're going up here, and I think we're going to go to the the deck area. So talk to this guy. Our captain is a sword master. He even teaches cut to Pokemon. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's some good stuff right there. Now, if we go right here, yes, we will be challenged by a few trainers. And, uh, well, I didn't get that out. So let's, mm, let's see. Ultra Psycho is still, he's still hurt from the last one. So, I, you know what? Ah, oh, God, okay, I'm just going to go with Sparky right now, because I kind of have a feeling this guy has a Water-type Pokemon. Ahoy there! You sick, seasick? No, not really. So here we go. Another Sailor. This guy right here, he's coming out with his Machop. So I kind of had to... I kind of had it coming right there. So... I am going to go with Godzilla. Godzilla, Godzilla. Alrighty. Let's go, Charmander. Or Charmeleon. And that Karate Chop... Not good. Oh yeah, and I also taught Godzilla uh, Seismic Toss. Taught quite a few of my Pokemon some new moves. Because you know what? Why not? We're going into the uh, SSN and we, yeah, we're going to be facing a lot of trainers right here. And uh, this guy's getting me a Karate Chops up the you know what. So here we go. Ember attack. Finishes him off. Look at that. First battle right there for Godzilla and Tentacles coming down. So I got a Pokemon for you. Ultra Psycho. Oh yeah, just one attack, that's all it needs. Just take a look guys, just take a look. Oh yeah. Oh come on! Okay, so I'm finally here for my burn. And uh, <laughs> oh man, I had, I really had this coming. Yeah, I'm double hurt right now. Oh god. Oh, I'm double hurting. I had it coming. Yeah, for me bragging. This is what happens when you brag about the Pokemon you have. You get hurt. And look at that. Ultra Psycho grows a level 19. That's some good stuff right there. So I learned my lesson. He's like, oh, I was just careless. Yeah, whatever. He's like, my my PA say that there are 100 kinds of Pokemon. I think there are more. Yeah, there's a lot more. A lot more Pokemon guy. A lot. And here we have another Pokemon trainer. Hey, matey. Let's do a little jig. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but pretty sure it has something to do with a jigger. Could jigger. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so I did not want this, so I am going to Hydra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I finally evolved my Magic Carp into a Gyarados off screen. Not only that, but I traded for. Uh, I traded uh, my. What was it? I traded my, uh, my Kadabra to evolve into an Alakazam. That is something great that. We haven't had, we've never had in my Draven XC711 channel, and I told you guys, we're gonna switch this whole thing up, and we did. We worked it, man. And uh, here we have Shelter coming in. So, let's go ahead and switch it up to Sparky's. That way you can learn some more moves right here. Alrighty, alrighty. Thundershot for the win. Oh, come on. That should have won right there. That really should have won. Okay, let's go with that Thundershot yet again. There we go. And look at that. Level 24. Finally. Sparky's coming into his own. Finally. Okay, so we've got one, maybe one more level to to, to Thunder Thunderbolt, right? Probably. Scrubbing decks is hard work. Oh, I thought you were going to battle me. Okay, see what this guy... Party's over. Ship will be departing pretty soon here. Okay. Oh, we just got in here. Ugh. Feel hell. I stepped out to get some air. 
No? Okay, alright. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. So that's taken care of. Now we're going to have to go into the final part right here. And we all know who we're going to be battling at the end right here. Let's go. And, uh, well, if you talk to this gentleman, he's like, In all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. And there we have it, another page on our Pokedex. This guy's name is Snorlax. He is a sleepy Pokemon. And we will eventually you know, meet up with this guy. You know, pretty cool, pretty cool Pokemon. Who knows? Might he might even be a new Pokemon uh, that we might get. Who knows? We shall see. So here it is, another Pokemon battle. Check up, check out what I fished up. I don't. I really don't. So here we go, going up against Fisherman, and he's got a Goldeen. Okay, so first time we're battling Goldeen. Alrighty. You know, technically we should have battled this Goldeen like back in the Cerulean Gym, but we didn't. Yeah, our bad. Here we go again, Thunder Shock. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, more experience points for this Pokemon. You know what, I might as well just leave Sparky out there because he needs a training. A lot of training. So there we go again, Thunder Shock. And this Tentacool right here, this guy, likes to ruin everything. So here we go again with the Thunder Shock. Goodbye. There we go. More experience points and another Goldeen. So let's just finish this guy off right here. Who knows? So if a Goldeen was a female and it evolves into Sea King, does it still stay? Uh, oh, crud. Uh, wow. Well, good thing we have that Ether, right? Alrighty. So we got that Ether. Like I was saying, if a Goldeen is a female at first and it evolves into a Sea King, does it turn into a guy afterwards or does it stay a female? Can you guys answer that for me? I want to know. It's kind of it's 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 a question I've been having for a while. And before we even get that item, this guy's like competing against the young keeps me youthful. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. Very very good to hear. So here we have another gentleman coming out, and he's got himself a Voltorb, and uh, we got our Sparky. Unfortunately, he is not going to do well against this guy. So we got to switch him up with this guy. Tackle attack will do well. And uh, let's go with that horn attack. We need. The oh god. I thought I missed. <laughs> we should really pay attention to that. Oh wow. Why would you use self destruct? Wow. That was. That was hilarious. Okay, so he's coming out with a Magnemite. I might as well stay with Thrasher right now because. Magnemite has caused me some trouble, especially, you know, in the last few episodes before we got into the SSN. And that's why, because it's Sonic Boom. Kind of like Dragon Rage, where it automatically takes a, a certain amount of HP every single time. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Defeated you. Good fight! Ah, I feel young again. Huh. And we found ourselves a Max Ether. Okay, so... Pretty much the item that we needed. And, uh, let's see. We're not gonna battle these guys. So, talk to this guy. He's like, ah, yes, I have seen some Pokemon, some Pokemon fairy people across the water. Hmm. Pokemon can cut down small bushes. Okay, that was it? Seriously? Okay, never mind. And we got another few people to battle. So, let's go ahead and heal more Pokemon up. Uh, where is my healing items? Utensils, healing utensils. Again, guys, it's never too bad. You can never go wrong with uh, bringing a lot of healing items just to get, well, you know, just to heal your Pokemon right here. And uh, let's go with Godzilla. And I, I should switch it just in case. All right, there it is. Which, which do you like, strong or rare Pokemon? Well, I think they're both. I don't know. I think they're both. I don't know. So here he comes out with the Growlithe. And I'm coming out with my Godzilla. Godzilla, Godzilla. With some seismic toss right here. First time I'm ever using it. And, oh god. That took a lot, but... Should have made him faint, but I might as well use it again. There it is. 
That's some good moves right there. That is a very good move, and, uh... Jesus. Should probably beat this guy right now. There it is. Takes him out. Pretty good stuff. Godzilla grows to level 20. That's some good stuff right there. And coming out with a Ponyta. So, let's go. I would love to use Hydra, but I gotta go with Thrasher right here because he's the only Pokemon right now with a water type attack. And look at that. Ma majestic as can be. So, Water Gun. Oh, yes. Gotta love the Water Gun. And, uh, well, that doesn't take out Ponyta, but it takes a good chunk. So let's finish it off yet again with another water gun. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. And Thrasher grows to level 23. Good stuff. And it's learning Thrash finally. Okay, so this is the move that, well, helped me throughout, you know, the first time I ever went through Pokemon Yellow. So I'm going to take away Mega Punch and just teach it Thrash because that Thrash attack is, is basically why I called Neo King Thrasher. Oh yeah. And he's like, I must salute you. Oh, thank you. And what is he supposed to say? I prefer strong and rare Pokemon. Doesn't everybody do? I mean, I do. But then they're one and the same as well. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, and Thrasher. Alright, we're all healed up right here. I'm gonna go... Nope. Okay, so I don't know why I did that, so... Move. Go right here. And we found ourselves a rare candy. Let's see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I gotta see something here, guys. I'm just, I'm checking out. And you know what? I'm not gonna use that rare candy. Pikachu's about to grow by itself. Might as well save that, uh, that, uh, that rare candy for somebody else. So here we go, going up against a lass. And, uh, Godzilla, Godzilla. Godzilla, Godzilla. Here we go. Seismic toss. Not really a, a a true fighting crud, a fighting move, like I was going to try and say. Okay, so, luckily for me, I bought, I came prepared. Not fully prepared. And, uh, okay, Ember Attack. I know, I know for a fact Jigglypuff is going to try and make me fall asleep again. There we go. It's usually a Pokemon habit right there. Okay. Let's go again and use this. Man, I'm so glad I did that. And uh, there's that disable attack. And uh, okay. Seismic Toss is not going to do a lot to Jigglypuff since it doesn't really weigh that much. It's probably weightless. But it does take it up. Look at that. That's some good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Good chilla, good chilla. Take it easy. I'm not going to take it easy, would you? Oh, I adore your strong Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, no, no more battling. Uh, me and my daddy, are, I think, the Safari Zone is awesome. Okay. Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? I had many rare kinds of Pokemon. Okay. It, oh, it has many rare kinds of Pokemon. Gotta read correctly. Jesus Christ. And if you talk to this person, the captain looked really sick in the pale. Okay. And I hear many Pokemon get seasick, or people get seasick. You know, I've never been on a cruise before. Honest to God, guys, this is something about my life. Never been on a cruise before, so I wouldn't know what seasickness would be. If you guys have ever been on this on a cruise, com comment down below. Tell me how that feels, like if you've had seasickness before. I mean, I've been car sick before. I would attribute it to that, but who knows? Who knows? Okay, so getting my Pokemon ready because uh, I know what's up coming up and. Uh, Alrighty. There's that little punk, Gary. Bonjour, Draven! Imagine seeing you here! Draven, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I've already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. Well, I kinda knew that, buddy. Kinda knew that. So here we go again, another battle against Gary. Homeboy who defeated us in the very first episode, coming out with his Spearow. I came prepared. Oh yeah, time to die. One man, one Pikachu, one Spearow, and a Leer attack. How does this end? Thundershock for the win. 
I should really I should really go into like that commentary stuff. And look at that. Spark goes to level 25. Does not know <laughs> does not learn uh, the move that I thought it would move. So here we go with Hydra. I'm gonna go with Hydra because I'm gonna surprise the hell out of this guy. Look at that, I got a Gyarados. <laughs> bring it. Just bring it, man. Bite attack. One move. Destroys your Pokemon. Oh, he's coming out with Sand Truth. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show my next strongest Pokemon right here. Coming out with a Sand Truth. I'm coming out with Ultra Psycho. And uh, well, let's go with this Confusion Attack. Yeah, he's like, what the heck? Where did this guy find all these Pokemon? Oh, you know, I was just doing a few training sessions myself. You know, I may have traded with myself and you know, buddy, myself, you know, that kind of stuff. And look at that. Coming out with his Eevee. How should I finish this guy off? I'm gonna finish him off with Godzilla Godzilla. Oh yeah, look at that. Godzilla. Use that seismic toss. Oh yes. That's a oh yeah, that's a good move right there. I don't think that's gonna affect it. Or should it? Probably, I don't know. There we go. Seismic toss. Takes a nice amount. Let's go again with another seismic toss. And uh, that finishes Eevee off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So as you can see, <laughs> at least you're raising your Pokemon. You're not liking me beating you, huh? I heard there was a cut master on board. But he was just a seasick old man. But cut itself is really useful. You should uh, you should go see him. Smell ya. I'm flipping you off, buddy. Flipping you off. How about you, Pikachu? Oh yeah, Pikachu just loves us, man. He just loves us. This is awesome. You remember the you remember the time we lost to Gary? That was horrible. Okay, so as you can see, there's a seasick old man, and I'm just gonna take over the captain ship. He's like, how to conquer seasickness? The captain's reading this. Huh. Again, comment down below if you've ever had seasickness. Now if you look here, yeah, he shouldn't have looked. This guy's throwing up. Captain, oh, feel hideous, <laughs> sickness, and of course I do rub his back. There we go. Heal, 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 heal. Woo! Thank you. I feel so much better now. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if you want. If I wasn't ill, I know you can have this. Teach it to the Pokemon so you can cut, or you can see it cut anytime. So here it is guys, the HM01 cut, and uh, well, he's like, whew, now that I'm not sick anymore, I guess it's time, I don't know, it's time for what? But like I was going to say, the HM01 cut technique helps cut any kind of trees, those mysterious trees that we couldn't get past. Now remember, in generation one, you should be, well, you should choose wisely on who you, um, I don't know why I'm going in there, you should choose wisely on who you're going to choose to, you know use that technique because you cannot delete that move unless you unless you're playing generation 2 and you can cut it right there or you can you know delete it so just be aware of that guys so now that we're done let's get the heck out of here we've already finished up everything Pikachu's grown a few levels bye bye look at that some good stuff right there now remember once this is done you will never ever 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 go back in here Unless you probably cheat, I don't know. Never tried that. Alrighty. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, let's talk to this guy. He's like, the ship has set sail. Okay. It is good. Good thing. Good. All right. Okay. We're we're, we're doing a good job right here. Everything's done. I think my Pokemon are well uh red or they're well leveled and all that stuff. So. I think it's finally time to go back to Cerulean City and uh, take on Misty. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going back to Cerulean City. And we will be facing Misty, the Cerulean City gym leader. See you guys.